Have you ever encountered a nasty bug that didn't let you work on your dream game? It's easy to get demotivated when your progress is being stalled by such blockers. And that is why knowing how to fix bugs quickly is such an important skill in your game developer journey. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five things you can do to make sure you squash any bug. The first thing you should know is how to identify the bug directly in Godot. This is one of the easiest approach and is usually enough to find most bugs. And it is very important to know the Godot capabilities for debugging. For example, you can use the console and this console shows errors, helps you identify in which function a problem occurred and can be used in combination with print messages to easily get the actual values of your variables causing problems. The Godot debugger is super powerful, allowing you to set breakpoints in your code to analyze bad functionality. It allows you to move either step by step or from breakpoint to breakpoint through the execution. Additionally, it shows the stack, which basically shows you the functions you called. And finally, and maybe most important, it shows you the actual values of the variables in your executions. Another capability is the remote viewer. This is especially helpful when you instance nodes on the fly. You can use that to see if you actually managed to instance the expected amount of nodes or the correct nodes, and if you manage maybe to free those nodes from memory at the correct moment. Now finally, you can always debug visually. Godot has a lot of functions like draw line, draw circle, and many others, which help you visualize more complex things like, for example, steering forces. And if you're actually interested in this, I have a full video which explains visual debugging more in detail. Okay, but let's say you tried all these things and you didn't manage to fix your bug. Then it is time to move to the next step. Look for similar problems in tutorials, blog posts, or even forums. Now, chances are that you are not the first one to have this problem. You can always look online to find people which had similar issues and to see what they did to fix them. Actually, most of this YouTube channel is dedicated to understanding and solving common problems and bugs. And this is not the only channel. There are thousands of channels which tackle similar topics. So you are bound to get help from those. If you don't fancy maybe the video format, then there are always blog posts, repositories, and discussions about certain bugs. For example, each video I make also has an equivalent project in my GitHub repository, which is dedicated to this YouTube channel. Okay, but if you didn't manage to get a quick solution from the second step, then there is no better place to get information than the official Godot documentation. In the documentation, you'll be able to get precise, up-to-date, and deeper understanding of the concept you're working with. Additionally, if you use another version of Godot, you can always access the equivalent documentation for that specific version. Depending on your preference, you can find the documentation both online and also directly in the Godot editor. Okay, but you might have read the Godot documentation and somehow the problem is still there. You don't really know what's happening then it might be the case that the problem is not coming from where we expect it to be, and it's coming from somewhere else. And in that case, it is good to move to the next step, which is to isolate the problem in a new project. Now, many times a project can become like a giant entangled web of functionalities. Many of those depend on and influence each other, and also having lots of components unrelated to the actual bug can slow down the debugging process a lot. For such cases, try creating a new project or a new node in which you only add the piece of code that is causing the problems. At first, it might sound like you're doing more work by creating a new project, but trust me, I can't even count the amount of debugging hours this saved me. Now, if you reach this point and everything failed, you didn't find the solution to your problem, then maybe it's time to take a stand and follow the last and most important step Submit an issue in the Godot engine repository. Your answers always lie within the community. Like, seriously, maybe the problem is not even your fault. Maybe there's a bug in the engine, or maybe the feature you're looking for is not available. The Godot and Godot proposal repository issue submission is one of the best I've ever seen. Remember step four when I asked you to isolate your problem? Well, when submitting, after briefly describing your issue, one requirement is to add a minimal reproduction project. 
This is actually crucial, as most of the times you don't even get to finish your submission. You write it down, you make your isolated project, and you figure out that in that example, maybe the problem is much easier to fix, or maybe that things behave differently than they did in your project. It's quite funny, but there have actually been many, many times in which I stopped mid-submission because I had found the issue in the new project. What happens, however, if you don't find your bug and submit an issue? Well, the response time, first of all, from the community collaborators has always been quite fast. What I noticed from my experience of submitting is that you always seem to land in one of these cases. The first one is that you are actually wrong. The issue is not a bug, but maybe just a mistake on your end. In this case, people will point you in the right direction and there's a high chance you will get a new plan for solving it. Now, the second case is when you're trying to do something that's not possible or simply something that's too specific a problem for Godot to solve. Now, the last case is that maybe you're actually right. <laughs> like, maybe there is an issue and Honestly, you should be really proud with yourself for finding it because you are making Godot a better engine for everyone by submitting this. And this issue will either get fixed in the following patches and additionally, people will also suggest temporary workarounds for until it, this gets fixed. Now, it's been really fun making this video and I would honestly like to enhance this community collaboration by knowing your ways of finding bugs and fixing them. If you have anything you would like to share with us to make our developer lives better, I would be really happy to hear it in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you want to see anything similar to this, subscribe and see you in the next one.